Well, hey everybody, I am so excited to be bringing you this part of my series on installing my Generac. We are getting closer and closer to having this bad boy fire up. As you've seen, it is a process. Uh, it doesn't just fall in in just a second or two here. It's a lot of parts and pieces to make a project like this come together. But I am so excited. I have got so much information to share with you guys here at Project Next One. It's all about getting projects done and also wanting to share all bits of information that I learn along the way and forward to you guys. Today is no exception. So I uh, want to do a huge thanks out and a shout out and a thanks to uh, the crew at Davenport Energy, specifically the engineers who came here today. They were awesome to work with, James and Seth. Uh, they did a great job and they were so cool about sharing information. So if you want to see how you get gas lines connected in and how they make all of this work, it's the coolest process and the theory behind the way it works is incredible. If you want to see all of this, watch this video. So you know me guys, let's get busy. So the crew started out here, as you see, working at the generator. Now they've gone over and they're on the other end working at the tank. Before I head over there, I kind of wanted to explain in a real simple detail uh, of exactly what it is they do over here. The line uh, is set in stages and the pressure starts out real high to tank and it works its way down through two stages. The first one is stage one, the second one is stage two obviously, or first stage, second stage. And where we're at over here at the generator is where it does the last step down, which is the second stage. So I'm gonna swing the camera around and I'll explain a little better. <clears throat> so this line here is the propane line that's coming out uh, this is after first stage, so it has been stepped down to around 10 PSI. It comes up through this regulator and then out of here, it drops it down even lower. And they change the terms they go to. Instead of PSI, it goes by inches water column. And over here, this is 10 PSI. This is 10 to 12, or 10 to, yeah, 10 to 12 inches water column. They said if you wanted to try to compare, it was around a half up, a half up 0.5 psi. They they changed the term by the way they measure because this is more fine tuned. It's uh, just a better way of making sure they've got the right correct pressure that feeds in to the back of the generator. So they all custom make this pipe. Uh, everything as you saw is made right off the back of their truck. They run in. This is called a sediment trap. Even though this is propane, uh, they say stuff can still get through and come out and so they have a way for the sediment to get trapped here and then this can be spun off to clean it out if need be. So anyway, I think it's pretty cool the way we stepped that down and when we get over to where the tank is, I'll show you how uh, what the pressures are, explain those. I think it's kind of fascinating the way that works and how it steps down Do you get to, to running the piece of equipment that you're trying to run. So anyway, we'll get over yonder and 
we will explain that after they get that all hooked up and get finished up so let's get back busy oh guys i wanted to go over something that i learned in my previous video on running the gas line i had originally told you when uh, we put down the pipe first we pull about two inches of dirt over and then we put down what you saw was a yellow wire it was my understanding it was a ground strap totally wrong i don't know if i misunderstood that or misheard or whatever but anyway let me swing around and i'll show you what i'm talking about and that is this wire right here it's not tied to anything it's just here but the purpose of this and it's really so cool uh, it's a tracer wire um with it being a plastic gas pipe if you needed to locate it in the ground if the only thing was in the ground was the gas the plastic gas pipe you would never be able to find it so the whole reason for having the tracer wire that runs right along with that is you've probably seen them uh, same thing with the people you see at the beach that's looking for metal artifacts uh, it's the same type of equipment and they hook onto this wire and then they can go walking across the line and since that wire is right there where the pipe is they use that to locate the the pipe that's in the ground i thought that was pretty cool and again i had that all wrong i thought that was a ground strap it is not tracer wire anyway i wanted to share i thought that was a pretty cool tidbit had no idea a pretty cool thing to pick up on and learn Okay, so we are over now at the um, uh, where the 500 gallon tank is. It's buried in the ground. Um, and the uh, funniest thing, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you this. Everybody that comes over to my house and they see this, they go, what are you doing with a trash can in your backyard? And I go, guys, it's not a trash can. So let me open it up and I'll show you. There, down in there is the top of the 500 gallon tank and this is the main output here now uh, they keep it when it's fully topped off they never fill it up hundred percent they fill it up to about eighty percent for expansion and contraction and depending on what time of year it is the pressure that's inside that tank is anywhere from a hundred to hundred and sixty pounds um, or PSI what they do is they come out of here and this is where they go into this first stage uh, regulators and they take it from the 100 to 160 pounds down to about 10 to 12 pounds PSI so in my case coming out of here I'm running at, at this point I am running uh, two things uh, this line here goes over underground goes up the back of the fireplace and I have gas logs that are in my outdoor fireplace and then this one is the new one that we just added and this one again from 160 100, 100 pounds to 160 pounds it takes it down through the stage one down to 10 to 12 psi and it runs down through here goes around the line we put in the ground over to where we just talked i thought it's kind of fascinating how this works so guys i hope you're finding all this entertaining and educational and informative and all those good things i'm uh, working hard trying to do a lot more deep dive in this uh, round of doing a generac install uh, than on my first one because obviously i'm learning more uh wanted to provide more in-depth detail for you guys uh you know it was kind of cool on dad's when we installed his 
that uh, we got a lot of the overall information on this one. I purposely wanted to go a lot deeper dive and get into a lot more of the specifics. Again, wanting to learn myself, but also wanting to have the information to forward and share with you guys. So anyway, guys, please consider smacking the subscribe. Uh, hope you will uh, hit the like button and share with your friends. Uh, this will uh, bring to the end of video number four in this series and there will be one more the last one will be uh we'll be getting the battery installed uh doing all the final checks uh firing it up getting it running uh and then programming it into the wi-fi into the house and that'll be in a video coming very shortly so you know us here at project next there's always one more so guys thanks so much for watching be on the lookout there'll be another video coming real soon you guys have a great week and stay safe and we will talk at you soon Thanks again. Take care. See you. Bye.